Welcome to the third part of the video series on installing BMC Atrium Orchestrator. In the previous videos, we have successfully installed Atrium SSO, Repository, and the CDP. In this video, we'll install the Development Studio. But before proceeding with the installation of Studio, let's open the web browser and validate the Atrium SSO, Repository, and CDP URLs. Click continue to this website. Now this is the SSO login screen. Login using the admin credentials. As you can see, we have successfully logged into the SSO console. If we click the agent details, we can see that it has the repository and the CDP agents and the status of both of them are running. Let's log out and log into the repository manager. Click continue to this website. The default credential to log into the repository and the grid manager is AO admin. And the password for the account is admin123. Click login. As you can see, we are successfully logged in. Let's log out and log into the grid manager. Click continue to this website. Login using AO admin credential. Looks like the grid manager is running as expected. Over here we can see the status of our peer and all the nine components are running successfully. So let's start with the installation of the development studio. Let's minimize this. This is the dev studio installer package. Let's extract it. Now we need to run the setup.cmd. Click run. Click OK. Click the next button. Accept the license agreement. We'll install a new instance of Development Studio. It has automatically picked up the default location. This is the location where the workspace will be saved. Click Next and click the Install button and wait for the installation to finish. The installation was completed successfully. Click the Done button. Let's open the development studio and see if we can connect to the CDP. Let's create a new connection. Click the plus button. Provide the username as AO admin and the default password. Over here, it's asking for the CDP host name. We need to provide the fully qualified domain name over here. The peer context will be BAO CDP. Our CDP is running on port 18080. So let's update this value. And the protocol we are using is HTTPS. Click the connect button. As you can see, we are successfully connected to the grid and can start with the workflow development. Now, in the next part of the video series, we'll proceed with the installation of the last component, which is the Content Pack 2015 03.